Hello, good day to you and welcome. This is video numero five in a series intended to help B2B professionals better document their on-paper go-to market strategies when selling whatever is trending on TikTok to the restaurant industry. This is the third installment in our five-step approach to create our go-to market plan with today's emphasis on how we ingest the market. Topics of interest will include the two most common data acquisition strategies, what companies are doing to ingest data today, how modern data acquisition is flipping the script, and finally, I'll leave you with a recommendation on how to make things easier on yourself while setting up your business for future success. Now, admittedly, this video won't be for everyone. We can't all be decision makers when it comes to disrupting infrastructure or integrating systems. But in the perks and problems with go-to marketing strategies video, we outlined the two most common reasons why plans can fail, bad data and poor execution. So it's important to give ourselves a framework to approach solving bad data problems in our internal systems once and for all. Here we go. About a month ago, I had a conversation with a sales operations manager that I can't stop thinking about. During our discovery call, she shared that her business was six months into a sizable CapDB exercise. CapDB is a customer and prospect database refresh where they were committing both money and internal resources towards solving their bad data problem. Surface level, this sounded great. I love these exercises. I asked how it was going and she said, not well. She went on to say that after six months, things were still largely manual and they had yet to see any positive impact on their CRM after six months. Obviously, I asked her to walk me through how they were acquiring industry data and she talked me through a web of repeated manual exports, manual data transformation, upload into a data warehouse outside of their target system, more data transformation, export and file prep for another import into their CRM and a ton of behind the scenes internal custom dev in Salesforce to make sense of their findings. As a quick aside, this story isn't an anecdote. And as an aside to that aside, this is just the most recent conversation I've had like this. This is a problem that lots of companies are having. Make no mistake, ingesting good market data repeatedly without killing yourself is the hardest of the five steps we'll cover. Based on what I've seen firsthand, it's the number one thing that will destroy your go-to market strategy. And if you do not commit to updating your data acquisition strategy out of the stone age, you're basically succumbing to a bad data self-fulfilling prophecy. So what do we do? Well, first, we need to start our conversation about how we get TAM data into our systems. There are two primary data acquisition strategies in the market today, ETL and ELT. Now, we could spend an entire series talking through the pros and cons of each, but for the sake of our ingest the market goal, you'll only need to understand these two acronyms at face value. ETL and ELT are two similar but different data acquisition strategies that are used to extract transform, and load data into a target system. The main difference between these two strategies lies in the order in which data is processed during the transformation stage. ETL, Extract, Transform, Load, is a traditional data acquisition strategy where data is first extracted from various sources, transformed into a standard format, and then, finally, loaded into, let's say, a CRM. The transformation stage is typically forced on whomever is acquiring the data, and it can be a lot. Data transformation between systems where you're really just prepping the file for upload is every sales ops team member's nightmare. On the other hand, ELT, Extract, Load, Transform, is a more modern approach where extracted data is loaded directly into, again, let's say your CRM without undergoing any significant transformation. To do this, you either have to code a way to automate the extract to import process 
or find a market intelligence partner that can sync pre-formatted data to your system without you ever having to put your hands on it. This moves the primary analysis phase into the same system that has your customer data, which enables faster data modeling in an environment that has significant amounts of change over time. So what are companies doing to ingest market data today? One of three things, nothing, purchasing lists, or leveraging technology. Let's break these down. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on doing nothing because to me, that's not a strategy. Companies doing nothing when it comes to ingesting market data just rely on their BDRs or AEs to update the CRM as they find out new information. Look, you and I both know that hope is not a strategy. And since you're here and watching this video, I'm going to safely assume that this is not your path forward. Please do not make me regret this decision. Lists. Purchasing snapshot lists has been the norm in this industry for literally decades. Leaving aside the fact that most list providers fail all three of the reliability criteria we talked about in the last video, moment in time lists do not and cannot solve data problems over time. Let me repeat that for any listeners who may be multitasking in the background. List purchase, be it one time or ongoing, is not a viable means of acquiring market intelligence because it is nearly impossible to ingest files without massive amounts of internal resources or custom dev to make it scalable. This is ETL, where the brunt of the data transformation falls on you, the paying customer. No matter how many times I've seen people commit to uploading monthly files into their CRM, it fails 100% of the time, likely within the first year. If you can't tell, I'm passionate about solving bad data problems and lists aren't it. The third option I see companies using nowadays is leveraging technology platforms that analyze target market data. This is great, but there's a catch. Remember that story from the beginning of this video? The one where the sales manager was leveraging technology to solve her CRM's bad data? She was purchasing lists. Whether the data acquired was good or bad really doesn't matter because she couldn't get it into their systems without huge hoops to jump through. Any online software or platform selling you the ability to download files as frequently as you'd like is, by definition, ETL, and most companies just simply cannot commit to that level of list work on an ongoing basis. And you shouldn't have to. On the flip side, modern market intelligence partners are quickly evolving to meet the growing needs of their customers. You hear people talk about agile companies with data modeling and data activation built on a data pipeline streaming into their system. It's a lot and a tad pretentious, but this is ELT, which inherently supports all analytical and operational uses of data. Having market data integrated into your CRM dictates data-driven decision-making at all levels of the business. Hashtag goals, hashtag yes please, hashtag sign me up. To add just a bit more context, data pipelines are needed when in-app reporting tools, spreadsheets, and ad hoc reporting of all kinds are no longer capable of answering critical business questions, specifically those that require combining data from different sources. I can't tell you how many times I've seen territory exercises happen in Excel getting passed around between managers and departments where the final file was so far removed from the CRM that it couldn't be implemented because there were no breadcrumbs to get it back where the things started. Finding a predictable way to bring in reliable industry data repeatedly is what is defining modern tech stacks. And there are emerging partners, even in niche industries, who are qualified to help you do it following the path of least resistance. For many companies out there, that means someone who natively integrates with Salesforce. You need to know that this is a solution and that it already exists. Modern data acquisition is moving towards a future where B2B companies have market intelligence integrated into their CRM. This is a trend, by the way, that is expected to become more and more widespread in the next few years. 
The integration of market intelligence directly into a CRM can provide B2B companies with a holistic view of their customers and the overall market, which can help them make more informed decisions and develop more effective go-to market strategies. It lets sales reps focus on selling and will likely be a key strategy for businesses looking to stay competitive as data acquisition accelerates. As a closure to this video, I wanted to provide you with a quick recommendation on how to start a conversation around ingesting data. Number one, is there a problem? Ask yourself if your CRM has a bad data problem and consider whether or not a lack of good industry data is negatively affecting your business. Number two, is there a solution? Find out if there is a proven vendor with reliable market data that can help you establish an integrated data pipeline into your target system. And number three, can you make it happen? Prioritize your company's ability to justify budget and internal resources dedicated to solving your bad data problem once and for all. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> That's all for today. Ciao for now.